Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to continue some concepts in advanced electricity and magnetism, and especially in reviewing vectors and working with vectors, and especially to get a good conceptual understanding of what that actually means. So here we're starting with addition and subtraction of vectors, and we'll work through the whole concept systematically. And then, of course, we'll get into the real, the real aspects of electricity and magnetism at a more advanced level. So what do we mean by adding and subtracting vectors? Well, we can do that graphically. Here we have vector A and vector B. And to add the two vectors together, we draw a line parallel from the tip of A, parallel to B. And we draw a line parallel to A, starting from the tip of B. And where those two lines meet, we draw a vector from the tail of A and B to where those two lines meet, and that's the sum of A and B. Notice we can do the same thing by simply moving the vector A over here. Vectors can be moved into any direction, to any place, as long as we don't change the, the direction of the vector and as long as we don't change the length of the vector. So as long as we keep the length of the vector the same and the direction the same, we can move vector A anywhere we like, so we can move it so that the tail of A is touching the tip of B. And then we draw a vector from the tail of B to the tip of A, and that becomes the sum of A and B. And notice we'll get the exact same result using either technique. What if we want to subtract a vector, A minus B? Well, subtracting vectors is the same as adding the negative of a vector. What is the negative of a vector? It's simply the same vector simply turned around or moved 180 degrees in direction. So we flip over the vector pointing in the opposite direction as long as it has the same length, this becomes the negative of vector b. Same length, but pointing in the opposite direction. And so when we then add the negative b to a, that's the same as subtracting b from a. So we're essentially going a plus a negative b. And here we go when we again draw a line that's parallel to negative b, starting from the tip of a. And we draw a line parallel to vector a, starting from the tip of negative b where the two meet, that will then be the sum of A and the negative B. To make it easy, once you see that relationship and you have two vectors like vector A and vector B and you want to subtract B from A and you want to remember how to draw that subtraction, that new vector where we have A minus B, you start from the tip of the vector you're subtracting and then you draw a vector from there to the tip of the vector you're subtracting it from. So since it's A minus B, we draw a vector from the tip of B to the tip of A. If we were to graph B minus A, we would start from the tip of A and draw a vector to the tip of B. So if you can remember that, it will make life a lot easier for you. And here's another example. Let's say we have two vectors, the position vector R and the position vector R prime. Now, the prime doesn't necessarily mean that it's the derivative of the vector R. It's simply a different position vector. And if we want to subtract, r from r prime, notice the vector is drawn from the tip of the vector you're subtracting to the dip tip of the vector you're subtracting it from. So again, this will be r prime minus r, and the vector points in this direction. If it's r minus r prime, the vector would be pointing in the opposite direction. And so summarizing some properties of vector addition, notice that a plus b is the same as b plus a. In other words, vector addition follows the cumulative property. Also notice that we can group them in separate groups. We can group A plus B together and add those first and then add C to it. Or we can add B plus C first and then add A to it and we end up with the exact same result. In other words, vector addition has the associative property. And then just so we don't forget, when we subtract vectors, A minus B is the same as A plus the negative of B. If you remember that, you're, you're ready to go realizing how to add and subtract vectors. And one more thing we may want to consider is that if we, if we add two vectors together, essentially we're going to add the x components together, the y components together, and the z components together. The x components together will point in the x direction. Notice we can either use the i unit vector or the x unit vector. It's simply a matter of preference. Both mean exactly the same thing. We can use the j or the y unit vector or the k or the z unit vector. But in essence, what we need to get out of this is that when we add vectors, we add the x components together, the y components together, and the z components together. And that is how it's done.